What's up guys, it's Adi with GameStorm and today I'm going to show you something very useful that I use all the time and that is a shutdown timer for your computer. Now as you can see, I have all the buttons down here that I've already made. I have a shutdown timer, a sleep timer, and then to abort the shutdown in case I accidentally click on that and I don't want it. So um, say you uh, go to work or you go somewhere, you have to have your computer on, say you're like uploading a video, you want it to upload that and then you want it to turn off once it's done. Well, how do you do that? Well, all you gotta do is just make this timer. So just right click anywhere on your desktop. And you wanna go to new. And then go to shortcuts. Now, you're gonna browse for the shutdown execution file. So go to my computer, click the little arrow, go to the C drive. Go down till you find Windows folder, and then go down to where you find System32. So right here. And then you scroll all the way down past the folders and look for the shutdown executable. So I'm gonna look for that. It's gonna take a while, I'll just do this. Okay, getting close. Okay, right there, shutdown.exe. Click on that and hit OK. And then hit Next. Now, uh, you can name this whatever you want. I'll call it Timer. So hit Finish. And here's your timer. Now you can go. If you right click on it and go to Properties, this is where you actually need to type in some stuff to make this work. Right here it says the target, which is the, the shutdown that we just did. But in order to make this an actual timer, you want to do a space, do dash S for shutdown, do space, dash T, which means timer. And then after this, you want to put in a certain amount of time. And the way this works is you have to use it in seconds. So say we want this computer to shut down in an hour. You want to do 3600 seconds. Then every time you want to change this time, all you have to do is come back in here and change that number. And then you have to hit apply and hit OK. Now, when I click on this, a little button will pop up down here and tell me that my computer is going to shut down. Watch. Windows will shut down in 60 minutes. See? Right there. And then if I want to abort it, I have an abort one too. So I'm just going to click that for now because I don't want my computer to uh, shut down on me in an hour. And then another button will pop up and say the shutdown has been canceled. There you go. So in order to make that one, we're going to do the same type of thing. You're going to right click on your desktop. You want to go to new shortcut. I'm going to go to Browse, and you're going to find the same thing. Go to the C, find Windows, go to System32, and you can always just type in the shortcut too if you know where it's at, um, but this is just a way to show people who don't know. So I'm going to do the down one again, hit Next, and I'll call this Abort. Hit Finish. Now there's that one. Now in order to make this one work, just right click it go to properties and instead of the dash s for shutdown or dash t for timer you just want to do dash a which means aborts apply okay now watch I'm gonna use the timer and it says I'm being shut off in 60 minutes and then I'm gonna hit abort And there you go. So that's the way to make the shutdown timer for your computer. You can always go in too and uh, change what the icons look like, like I did for mine. So uh, you just right click it and go to change icon. And it'll say it doesn't have any icons, but you're like, okay. And then you can just search through a bunch of different ones. But 
you kind of want to choose one that makes sense. I mean, you wouldn't want one that has, like, a DVD on it. I mean, what, you know, that's not going to help you any. So, uh, you know, something like that for, like, you know, the shutdown. Hit apply, and it'll change it for you. I chose the bigger one for mine, but, you know, this is just a demonstration. Then for the abort one, you know, go to properties, change icon, hit OK. And then find one that looks like kind of a, you know, a cancel or an abort, you know, something like that. So, like that right there looks good to me. So there you go. And now you know how to shut down your computer after a certain amount of time. So I hope this has helped you out. Uh, I use this all the time, and it works wonders. Uh, so you don't have to have your computer on all day if you're not going to be home, you know, trying to upload something. So uh, try this out. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. And thanks for watching, guys. This is Adi, signing out.